Hi there, in this video I'm going to go through and introduce vectors. Okay, so basically what a vector is, it's a quantity which has magnitude and direction. Okay, so here's a definition. So a vector, let's take a red pen, let's underline that. So remember, a vector is any quantity, so it's a quantity which has both magnitudes and direction. Okay, so um, there's also a scalar. A scalar, on the other hand, is a quantity which has magnitude only. So the word magnitude means size. Okay. Now, if I consider unit vectors, so unit vectors means any vector or any vector with, with a magnitude of one unit. So if I consider unit vectors, i, j, and k in the direction o, x, o, y, and o, z. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is if I represent this as an axis, so I'm going to consider unit vectors i, j and k and these unit vectors are in the direction o, x, o, y and o, z. Okay, so i, j, and k unit vectors are in the direction o, x, o, y, and o, z. Okay, so let me show you how to represent any point or any coordinate as a vector with respect to the origin. Okay, so supposing if you have a point P with coordinates A, B, and C, okay. You can represent this as a vector with respect to the origin or relative to the origin. So that is written as OP. And the arrow on top denotes that it's a vector. Okay. And you would write this as AI. Okay. Plus BJ. Plus CK. Okay. So if you have any point P having coordinates, you could write that as a vector of that point with respect to the, uh, with respect to the origin. Okay, so you could write that as a vector OP as AI plus BJ plus CK. Remember these arrows symbolize that they're vectors. Okay, so let me take an example. So example number one, let's underline this. Okay, so um, now the question is, let's write down, so write down uh, the position vectors. So we call these position vectors. So write down the position vectors for the following points okay so let's do a couple of examples so in part a we have a point having coordinates minus one two and five okay so if we were to write that as a position vector of that point with respect to the origin so that is if I write down the vector OA so using this idea it's going to be minus one i, okay, plus two j, plus five k. Okay, so that is the vector OA, so that is the position vector of A with respect to the origin O. Okay, so let's take a part B. So in part B, if I have a point B having coordinates minus 2, 0 and 6. So if I want to write that as a position vector of B with respect to the origin. So the vector OB will be minus 2i. Okay. Plus 0j. 
plus 6k okay so you could ignore the 0j and write it as simply minus 2i plus 6k okay you could also I, I normally write my vectors uh, in terms of the unit vectors i j and k but you could also represent them as uh, column vectors okay so let me show you so minus 1 2 so minus 1i plus 2j plus 5k you could write that as a column vector which is minus 1 2 and 5 okay so that is the vector oa as a column vector also you could write this down minus 2i plus 6k as a column vector as minus 2 0 okay so there's no j component and 6 so this is the vector OB written as a column vector so you could also write your vectors as column vectors or in terms of the unit vectors i, j and k okay so let me do another example going in the reverse so in example 2 let me underline this okay so in example number two what I'm going to do is let, let's let me give uh, or let me write down some position vectors relative to the origin or res with respect to the origin and let's write these position vectors with respect to the origin in terms of a point or a coordinate okay so question is write down the position vectors as points so in part a if I have the position vector of f with respect to the origin so of is i minus 7j okay plus 4k so let's write that as a coordinate okay so the coordinate f will be the coefficients of the unit vectors i j and k so the coefficient of i being the x coordinate so the coefficient of i is 1 coefficient of j the y coordinate is minus 7 coefficient of k the z coordinate is plus 4 okay so as a point or as a coordinate f will have coordinates x value being 1 the y coordinate being minus 7 the z coordinate being 4 okay so in b so remember before we go through b the coefficients of the unit vectors i j and k will give you the coordinates for x y and z okay so og the vector uh, let's say if that is given by 2i okay uh, plus 6j plus 3k so as a point or as a coordinate g is given by coefficient of the unit vector i that is 2 so that's the x coordinate coefficient of the unit vector j is 6 that's the y coordinate coefficient of k the unit vector is 3 that's the z coordinate okay so that completes this video I hope you found this video helpful uh, do related questions and I hope to see you in the next video thank you